Today we're going to be going over the basic operation and uh, how to check fault codes and clear fault codes on the Smart Shift automatic transmission. This model is a Freightliner Cascadia, but uh, operation is going to be the same no matter what make or model truck you have. You have two basic components uh, as far as what you'll use as a driver. You have the shifter knob, which is located on the right-hand side of the steering column, and you have the display, which is typically going to be anywhere on the dash. Now, it's showing in for neutral. Again, it's just like pretty much any other automatic transmission in a car. Um, instead of actually moving the whole knob up and down, though, you just have a little button. Obviously, N is neutral, R is reverse, D is drive, usually starts out in second gear, and low is first gear only. It will not shift above that. You hit your foot on the brake, just like you would with any other transmission, push the little yellow knob in, and you go either up for reverse, or down for drive, L again is low gear. It's beeping at me because the truck's off and my brake's engaged. Um, now there is a manual override. Pretty simple also, just take this little knob, switch it from auto to manual, place it in drive, and then it's just like a paddle shifter. You pull up to shift up, you push down to shift down. Now you have your uh, display over here and it's showing obviously in for neutral. This is also where you're going to look to check uh, for active fault codes and inactive fault codes. Um, the key is in the on position right now. The truck is not started and that's how you want to start to check your your codes. In order to check active codes, you take the key and you turn it off and on twice within five seconds. One, two. Now we're going to come over here 88 is the code that shows it's uh, running through its diagnostic test, and then 25 is flat is on. That means that there are actually no codes, no active codes. Now, if we want to check inactive codes, something that's been wrong with the transmission, however, it's not diagnosing it right now, we do the same thing, but we do it four times within five seconds. So one, two, three, four. We go over here. It's going to go through the self-diagnostic again. Sometimes it takes up to about five, uh, five to seven seconds, and it's still showing 25, so there are no inactive codes. Um, now, if we did have a fault code that we wanted to clear, we'd do the exact same thing that we've been doing, but we do it within uh, five seconds. We do it six times within five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it's uh, solid in for neutral, which means we're actually ready to start up and go. The codes um, can be two digit numbers. Again, 88 is performing the self diagnostic, 25 is there are no faults. Um, any other number you can get on the internet, uh, Google Smart Shift fault codes and it'll pull up several different websites with uh, not only instructions of what we've done and how to do it again, but it'll also uh, bring up a list of codes and what they mean. Typically it's not going to mean a whole lot to you as a driver, however it does uh, give you information you can call a mechanic, either find out how long it's going to take, if they have the parts necessary to fix it and give it a price estimate. Um, other than that, that's uh, pretty much it. It's a pretty simple transmission to operate. Personally I like it a lot better than the Allison. Uh, gives you a little bit more uh, control because again it's so close to the steering wheel if you want to go into manual override you don't have to reach all the way up on the dash as you do the Allison. Um, other than that, that's it. Have a great day and be safe.